Hey everybody, welcome back to the best U.S. Men News Channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. Today's date is September 27, 2024, and I want to thank all those people that wished me well during the hurricane last night and yesterday. Wow, that was something. Now, today's video, we're going to be talking about the U.S. Mint, the Royal Canadian Mint, gold, gold mining. Yeah, that's right, all those subjects. But before any of that, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to a bazillion subs. It's a mighty big number. Not sure exactly what that number it is, but it's got to be ginormous. Yeah, say it with me. All right. Also, guess what? We're always live and never edited. Try that at home. All right, here we go. Moneymetals.com says gold is down five dollars ten cents to twenty six seventy eight. Even Stevens silver down double oh seven thirty two fourteen. Platinum up four fifty five to ten twenty five seventy. And palladium down fourteen twenty to 1069.70. Looks like we're getting back to that parity moment. Now, Dr. Copper's down two pennies to 463. And you're looking at it in stock American Silver Eagle, whose premium is 699 for a quantity of one through 39. You'll pay 39.13. Oh, wow. Look at that. They'll buy them back now for 33.37 each. And imagine if you bought your Silver Eagles at 12 bucks a piece, would you be selling them at that price, right? Think about that. That's kind of a big deal. Now, over here to the bullion sales over the United States Mint. Yeah, no new sales. It's no new tale to tell, as it were. Um, still don't have any new numbers for September. However, seeing how this is Friday, and I think Monday's the last day of September, we could see some additional numbers by the end of next week. This time next week, right? So, did a video a while back. Uh, let's see here. It was uh, August 26, 2024. So, yeah, about a month ago now. Um, title of this article is, Did the U.S. Mint really source non-American gold for decades? Yeah, de that's like... A mighty long time right and mislead its customers and auditors well we found that out and did this article this was one of our reference materials that day united states mint source non-american gold for decades misled customers and auditors that's from a treasury investigation uh, we i will leave a link in the description of this video uh, for this article again there was another article by coin world written by paul gilks august 24 2024 titled oig that's the office of inspector general Audit report about source of gold prompts action. Yeah. And what was the action? Well, we don't really know. The United States Mint really isn't too forthcoming. In fact, this happened during the tenure of Mint Director uh, David Ryder. And uh, I don't know what had happened, but it really didn't come to the surface or the public eye or sunlight until just this year. Isn't that something? Maybe back in February. And back in February, well, it went from February to August, and we still didn't hear about it, as you can see here by this pub, uh, published Coin World article here. And the date of this uh, particular Kitco one is not coming to me right now. Maybe there it is, August 13th. Yeah, pretty incredible, right? So that's got to be something to talk about at the United States Mint. Imagine being a fly on the wall, having that conversation, We're listening to that. What, the, what are they going to do? Well, I think the Royal Canadian Mint has come up with something, and, and, and it's a solution. And, and if the United States Mint could make a commitment to sourcing ethical, sustainable gold, I think this is the route to take. I think the Royal Canadian Mint has set a precedent once again. And let's face it, the United States Mint is no stranger to following the Royal Canadian Mint's lead right, in the 1992 state quarter program, right, and although they have provinces, I believe, and not states. Now, here we go. This is coinnews.net, and it's by coinnews.net, dated September 25, 2024, just a few days ago now. Royal Canadian Mint launches 2024 $50 gold maple leaf single mine bullion coin. Now, folks, this isn't the first time they've done that over the Royal Canadian Mint. Um, so this, I mean, they're, they are really trying over there. They uh, Think about that. They are going out of their way to say, okay, look, you know what? Well, just listen to this. This is fantastic, by the way. The Royal Canadian Mint, and it's got a link to the Canadian Mint, has introduced a new 2024 $50 gold maple leaf, one ounce bullion coin, entirely sourced from Agnico's Eagle Detour Lake Mine in Ontario, Canada. Isn't that amazing? And also, you know, I think they're adding privy marks to coins now because of counterfeiting. I think it's an anti-counterfeiting uh, measure, right? Um, I imagine privy marks would be really hard to to replicate, duplicate, or even uh, mirror any of those uh, fun words that say uh, rip off, right? <laughs> it's amazing. And there it is, uh, King Charles III right there, $50 
2024. And there, there's a preview mark. It's a really beautiful coin on the reverse there. This coin struck from 49's Fine Pure Gold as part of the Mint's single source initiative, highlighting its commitment to responsibly source gold and ethical mining practices. Remember, the United States Mint can't even say where their gold came from. And there was some question to whether or not they may have violated the Patriot Act, right? Because they don't know where the money's going. They could have funded something that might have been nefarious. We don't know. They're not being too forthcoming with that information. But this would totally alleviate all of that if the United States, well, sourced their gold from a single source, right? And and and, and why couldn't that source be, a, well, a, a mine owned by the United States Mint? I mean, think about that, right? They could own their own gig. It says here the Royal Canadian Mint is known worldwide for its refining prowess and innovation. As well as, as its robust environmental, social, and governance practices. I totally agree with that. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm good because, you know what, it's the future and they're doing futuristic things. They're trying to be better, right? Every day they're trying to be better. And I think that's, a, um, I guess, uh, an example for all of us. We should always be better than the day we were the day before, right? So we are proud to once more showcase the purity and responsibility of our gold maple leaf, GML, bullion coin um, by partnering with Agnico's Eagle Detour Lake Mine to issue our newest single mine GML coin, said Marie LeMay, president and CEO of the Royal Canadian Mint. And wouldn't it be interesting, um, you know, if they did that with the proof ones as well, because obviously this is just the bullion, all right? Um, and, and maybe some of their other coins, right? Some of those uh, high relief, you know, those the, with the maple leaf struck right into it. Oh, it's beautiful. It says the reverse of the mint's newest gold coin showcases Walter Ott's in, intricate engraving of a sugar, uh, sugar maple leaf. Whoops, I went too far. Emblematic of the maple leaf seri series. This design is framed by precisely crafted radial lines below a micro-engraved maple leaf's security mark. There you go, inscribed with the number 24 under magnification denotes the coin's year. There it is. And like I said, I think these privy marks, we're going to see a lot more of these privy marks on our coins due to the nature of its anti-counterfeiting uh, properties and uh, advantages, okay? So adjacent, a privy mark of a hand holding a globe signifies the coin's exclusive single source origin. I got to show you that one. And it doesn't really show you enough, but it's got the hand holding the globe and it's North America on the globe. It's really cool looking, actually. Um, reminds me of something from the 70s about how we should maintain the health of our planet. Because that's not a bad thing, I would imagine. Agnico Eagle is proud to be a partner of choice as a trusted source of responsibility. Produced gold for the Royal Canadian Mint single source mine gold bullion coin, said Amar Al-Jundi, president and CEO of the Eagle Mines, after one... Uh, after one from Madeline in 2022, this is the second, okay, I knew it, second single mine gold bullion coin produced entirely from gold out of Agnico Eagle operations. So that's fantastic. Look at that. And that's the packaging I imagine for right there. The 2024 $50 gold Maple Leaf single mine bullion coin is now available at select Costco stores across Canada. Eh? That's pretty sweet. There it is. It's encapsulated in a credit card style packaging that includes a certificate of purity and authenticity signed by the Mint's chief assayer. There you go. Pretty cool. Pretty sweet. Now, let's go over to Wikipedia. And I want to show you something here. Now, this is federal public land surface and subsurface. Okay. Those are the states right there. And that's right there in red, as you will see. Okay. Surface and subsurface federal ownership, all federal lands. Wow. Okay. Well, that's qu quite remarkable because it seems like in the East Coast, well, there isn't a whole lot of federal land, but boy, you cross over um, past the green stuff right here. Because if you've ever driven across country, green, and then you hit about here and it's not green anymore, it's brown and it's mountainous. And so it looks like the federal lands are here, mostly in the West. Uh, look at Nevada. Wow, that's incredible. So why do I bring this up? Well, guess what? I put here gold deposits in the United States and California. Here we go. There's a few states here. California, Alaska, Arizona, Maryland, Michigan. It says here, Cal uh, California, gold was deposited onto the seafloor by lava and minerals from volcanoes that were active millions of years ago. That's right. That's uh, the Long Valley Caldera. Think of, look at that one. That's amazing in California. Now, Alaska, gold is Alaska's official state mineral. And the Klondike Gold Rush attracted prospectors from around the world in 1896. So what I'm trying to say here, folks, is the United States could easily, easily have their own gold mine. All right. I mean, look at all that federal land right here. We looked at Arizona. We looked at Alaska. We looked at California. Yeah, there's a little bit of land for them out there. And this is probably the most interesting two on the list. Maryland. Gold was first discovered in Maryland in the late 1830s. 
and the state is part of an East Coast gold belt that extends to Georgia. And what's interesting about that particular one is, well, you don't really hear about the gold rush like you hear, like about the one in California. And this is the one I think that most people don't really know about, about Michigan. Michigan is plentiful of... Um, Look, just let me read this here and I'll get to it. Gold has been found in over 100 places in Michigan, including 27 counties in the Lower Peninsula and six counties in the Upper Peninsula. And not only that, I would imagine they have loads of copper in that Upper Peninsula as well. And I think there's a copper mine that's going to be starting if it hasn't started uh, already. Um, and copper, look, you know, we've talked about Dr. Copper. Yeah, look at 462. We were almost at 399 just about a week ago. And uh, that's quite a move, I would imagine. So listen, folks, I'm thinking about uh, wrapping things up here. I think that's all that I, that's all, you know, look, why can't the United States men have their own mind? And and if they did, you know, they know where it come from and they wouldn't have to worry about, you know, nefarious characters uh, taking their money and or, or even deceiving their customers or auditors, right? Yowza. Yeah. Now let's go to those plus ones. Bam. Hey, look at that. When sinning, guess what? Consider three things and you'll avoid sin. Above you is an all-seeing eye. Yeah, all-seeing. What does that mean, all-seeing? Uh, I think that's pretty clear. An all-hearing ear. Yep, yeah, pretty clear. And a record of all your acts. It's almost like they're being written down or videotaped from every angle. Ouch, and that's from the sayings of the fathers. Now, over here to 3959.99.9 KOI and Coin News Radio. This is Led Zeppelin. What is and what should never be? That's off Led Zeppelin, too. Yeah. What is and what should never be. Think about that. That's pretty amazing. Now, I want to thank you all for coming. Thanks for the well wishes. I do appreciate that. Um, now, we, if we can just pray for those poor people uh, north of us who are going through that now. Oh, it's, it's terrible. The wind and the rain. It's something else, I'll tell you. Stack her up.